Hello, everybody, and welcome back to 2020 H3 Experience. We are now happening now because it's 2020 and we have no time to waste. Right, Hila? That's right. Thank you to Honey for sponsoring this episode. Um, I have another bathroom story. There's someone in the bathroom I just saw. We always pee before the show. Yeah. And he's walking around. You know, I just, I, I guess I understand where they're coming from, but he had the key literally on the f- metal front of a car bumper. Like, you know, it, they get the object so big, you attach the key to. You see oh. that? <laughs> like, it's like a huge metal rod. The guys walk around with a... <laughs> car bumper i don't know if they're making jokes like taking it to the next level but because i saw one with like a wooden spoon of cooking mm. as a keychain to the mm. key like it, it, are people understand what we're even talking about yeah it, when you take the key to the bathroom in a public in an office place, setting yeah they, they always put it on like this stupidly big thing <laughs> and it's getting out of hand i guess it's so that you don't forget to return it yes ethan like you've done, but it's not that serious. Almost once a week. Yeah. Well, we yeah we did get like a hundred <laughs> copies because they kept taking them home. In my bag, I have like a, like fifty keys. <laughs> but I think there's just it's getting a little out of control. It is. I literally saw an old dude carrying a car bumper <laughs> with both hands. What? I was like, dude, this guy's in no shape. That's what we should do to you. You know what would be funny if the guests. <laughs> We should attach it to the Gatsby so they have to ride to the bathroom. I got us for the Teddy Fresh office, little teddy bear keychains. Mm-hmm. And every time I go to the bathroom, it's like so fun now. I love it. I got this little teddy I bear have with to me. give it up for the teddy bear keychains. I was moved by that. <laughs> I was moved. Um, I also want to give a quick shout out to Altered Carbon, which is the show on Netflix that I've been desperately looking for a show to watch mm-hmm. for so long. Thirsty drought stricken dying of thirst and then i saw everyone on reddit was all hyped about altered carbon mm. season two i was like i didn't even watch season one i just expected it was some dumbass one of the there's so much dumb netflix shows i was like i'm not even gonna click that shit <laughs> i'm two episodes in this thing is spectacular mm. it's like a um mm-hmm. cyberpunk film noir but the production level is insane it's like and it's just creative, which is fun to find all of a sudden yeah. out of nowhere. It's so good. Either fell asleep. I wanted to keep watching. It was a only shame. because I'm responsible and we got a show today. Well, you do fall asleep early, regardless of if there's a also, show. Also, only because we have a newborn baby. Well, I like I can't the show. That. Is my point. I, I didn't fall asleep that. because of the show. Yeah, I know. No, I, I know. No, I'm not trying to imply that at all. Okay. I would never imply such a thing, Elo. Okay. By the uh, way, I, I just remembered I have a story that I didn't get to tell you from my last exercise. Mm. That if there was a video, it would have been hilarious, but obviously I'm not recording myself exercising. Do you want to hear? Yes, I'm all ears. Okay, so um, I exercised with a trainer, and she put on one side this, we have this big medicine ball that's kind of soft, mm. and if you throw it like against the floor, you have to use a lot of force. It doesn't really jump back up. Mm-hmm. So I do five of those, like throwing, it, slamming it on the floor, and then you squat to pick it up, and then run a little bit to the other side, and then she put a second ball there for me to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. And we only had a different ball that's like the medicine ball that you use in the pool, mm. and that one is heavy and it bounces back. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> I didn't think about that. And I slammed it super hard. And then I, like, leaned to squat to pick it up, and it hit me in the face. Mm. Embarrassing. <laughs> Were you hurt? And this morning, I was, like, doing this, and I was like, oh, what mm. happened? And then I realized, oh, yeah, I slammed myself in the face. Did Tyler laugh at you? Yeah. Oh, she laughed at you. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> I think we've all done something. I've done that with, like, a basketball was... or something, you know. But it did hurt a lot. Oh, yeah, getting smacked it, in the face with a ball like my stuff. nose straight. Yeah. But... I'm sorry that happened to you. <laughs> well, you've learned a valuable lesson. I have. I don't think that will happen again. I'm never touching that ball again. Oh, but... that's not the... I don't think that's the lesson. <laughs> but okay. Whatever you do to protect yourself. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you for sharing that, Ila. You're welcome. 
Now, how do you rate that story compared to the post office story? That story is a five. Okay. It's a four. <laughs> okay. That was at least a six. Come on. What? That was good. I feel like if there was visual added to the story, it would have been a ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you saw the video, that'd be yeah. fantastic. Yeah, because I was so not expecting it, and it slammed it like a, slammed me at full force in the face. What do you guys rate that story, everybody? Go ahead, be I'm honest, though. Too. Be honest. <laughs> I'm giving it a, a 6.5. Okay. Go ahead, Zach and Ian. Don't make me beg. I'd give it a 7. What? <laughs> Come on. It's funny. <laughs> okay, and Zach be honest. Uh, I'd guy. give it a 6. If you told that at a party, why am I always engaged? waiting for what Ian? Is going on I'm, how are we supposed sound? to run a show like this? Uh, <laughs> What's happening? Here, easy. Can you not hear me? <laughs> can you not hear him? That's no. A, no we hello, don't hear hello. Him. Oh, something's going on because we can all hear him. He gave it a six. Well, yeah, you can hear him. He's in your the same room no, as you. I mean, it's coming through the okay, show. Okay, gave know why it a six. We get it. He gave it a six. All right. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have opened with this story. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. I show. like the whole. I like the whole. Do we want system. like a ten rating stories at the beginning of the show? Yeah, if you've got them, but okay. you do what you should. Can. I hold on to sixes. No, I end? like it. I liked. No, I like this. You okay. did good. Anyone else have any stories they want us to rate? <laughs> Zach's telling me to test my microphone. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So was Zach's fault? Yes. Yeah, sure. I don't F tier, easy for Zach. I blame you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's get right into the uh, juice here. Wendy, Wendy, as Ian <laughs> coined, Wendy Williams um, <laughs> is denying Fartgate. Now, in the last episode, <laughs> we covered Wendy Williams, who was caught ripping major ass on her television show. Here it is for everyone who needs a refresher or missed the original. That we live now. You can't just slap mm. people on the booty. Yeah, of course, he probably knows because it's not leaning. right from a man to a woman or pants. a woman to a man, but you can't even do that locker room <laughs> That doesn't thing. look comfortable. That cop wasn't playing no. that. I mean, you're lucky you only <laughs> yeah. got battery. Okay. What if he filed for sexual assault? So you all heard that, and Zach actually isolated it. Go ahead, Zach. That's Whoa. are you sure that's that sound? You're not messing with me? No, no, I saw him extract what? it. What? Uh, on my life. Yeah, yeah. I cannot. Uh, he believe. boosted the gain, obviously. So yeah, no, but I can't clear. believe you got it so clean. Yeah. Go ahead again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I feel like that's gross. Listening it. That's like a once a year fart. <laughs> it's like it feels like she's farting in my face. <laughs> <laughs> but like how often do you rip ass like that that genuinely? Once a year? Yeah, once yeah, a year. Once a year right? sounds right. <laughs> mm. Well, anyway, she denied it. She went through this whole hubbub of denying it, which just made her look even more guilty. Um, she, This is amazing. The whole the, the length she goes to deny it. By the way, she calls it fart gate, which I really love. And I thought she was going to um, kind of embrace the fart gate, but then she goes to this elaborate lengths to deny that she made a fart. You guys can judge for yourselves here. Lean over like this to release a fart. I'm leaning over like this because it's comfortable. No, you're first of all, the posture is completely different. She's leaning on the ottoman arm, right. but if you look at the fart she clip, she was leaning on the chair. She was leaning, she was like doubled over, like cramping. On the seat. Like, here, look, she's like cramping yeah. here. Like, she's having, a, you know what I mean? Like, that is totally different body language, girl. I don't buy that. Like, oh, yeah, this is the same body language? No. <laughs> Now she's gonna sit like this every episode, you know, too. Like Let me go back, because everyone's clapping. This is like a weird Tim and Eric edit. What is this? <laughs> so he's this a is really just the way her show is. <laughs> and we're gonna have a good old sit down. It's like watching her. She's such a freak. You went way too far back. It's all right. I like watching Wendy. All right. Here. I want to talk to here you about go. something very, very, very Hot serious. topics, literally. Warm topics, more I've like. been going through this now for a moment, and um, I would like to have a private conversation with doing? you, okay? She's getting a... What? I love the shots of the audience being like... She's, oh, she's, she's putting tea as like... A, Fart yeah. gate. <laughs> Now, let me tell you something. Who are these people? 
Hard to prove. I do a lot here on this show. As a matter of fact, I might have invented a lot because now all other talk shows are doing, are trying to do a lot. Really? But I, this is just oh. me. Just Wendy. Yeah. Wow. It's just me, Wendy. Humble. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all of these. What do you call a, I know you would say dick rider for a man. What would you, what's the female equivalent of a dick rider? Those guys here. No, but um, they've got a riding her dick. She doesn't have oh, a dick. I don't know. No idea. Mm. Wendy riders. <laughs> I imagine them like surfing on her vaginal pubes, like hanging on and flapping in the wind. Anyone? No. Uh, Not as good. You're not painting a picture here. Why? They well, they're small, and she's a giant. How do you surf on pubes, though? Ask. Get out of here, Dan. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I don't lean over like this to release a fart. I'm leaning over like this because it's comfortable. You know, if I sit like this all the time, you know, it's heavy on my spine. I don't have the back. Yep, I'm yep, girl. To... Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Who are these people? You know she ripped ass, bro. We were all there. We all saw it. I get the back. I like to release my hips and lean. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And if I shift my wig or I belch or rub my teeth. Her wig? I've been doing this since the, for 11 years, okay, on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I have never farted Why don't you guys back me up? Why don't our fans back me up like that? You know what I'm saying? I don't see my fans at home when I get in this shit and then they they go for me, they go. They don't give me that you go girl treatment. Well, do they? You don't see them, so they might be. I need Okay. Well, I like to think that they are, but sometimes I just don't know. I barely fart. You know why? Because gas gets released several different ways, and mine is belching. Nah, I'm like you still fart. That's bullshit. You, you, the farts are the shit in your asshole decomposing. <laughs> That's the process of by which you you absorb your food through your colon. You both, you do both. Everybody does both. You can't say you don't fart, Wendy. Why is your name Wendy then? <laughs> 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 I do is talk. Ooh. Excuse me. Anyway, it went viral, and final. Viral. And I was like, no, she had a viral moment. I would have made a big deal. Like if I farted, I would have definitely been the last. Because farts are always funny. Yeah, girl. Uh -huh. Yep. <laughs> Just take a look at the clip, and then I'm going to go more in depth. More in that depth. That cop wasn't playing that. Look how I she mean, doubled over. You're lucky you only got battery. What if he filed for sexual assault? <laughs> so first, first, the first thing that's key to notice, because I wondered maybe somebody uh, faked it because she was doubled over and she paused and somebody had this genius idea to put a fart sound in there because it would look so real. But they don't deny mm -hmm. that the sound is in there, okay? So they go th to an extreme length to explain it away. Go ahead. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you all are on board with this. <laughs> Clap if you know about Fartgate. Okay. Oh. What did just explain? <laughs> well, I just left no better now. <laughs> First of all, I went on with the story. Now, you know a girl like me would have been laughing at that. Second of all, by the sound of that fart, I would have had to go change my costume. <laughs> I no, that was a dry it, one. Uh, I recognize that. Mark in the seat. I wouldn't even save the costume. I would have thrown it away. It would probably be soiled beyond soiltivity. <laughs> no. Um, what I suspect, because me and my manager, Bernie, we went over it. You know, probably, I'm like, Bernie, I got to do Went over it with the manager. And so he said, Wendy, I saw it. It's so <laughs> stupid. Clearly, you know, there's somebody who superimposed the sound. And I, it's and your show. What do you mean? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> And then it goes viral and, you know, whatever. So that's what's up with Fartgate. Although Norman says he's got another theory. I checked the tapes. The sound is there. It's okay. not superimposed. But no, I hey. promise to God. <laughs> I promise to God. Wait. When that was happening. Freeze, stop. Wendy's yeah. like, wait, stop. You weren't supposed to say that. <laughs>
I would like to have a second person to weigh in on this. Okay. My trusty Steve, John Anderson. John, yeah. John, are you around? Yeah. Because John knows stuff. John, John just here stay John. right here. All right, John's gonna explain this whole John. fart game. Yeah, sure. You know I'm a whole bunch of fun. All right. And, and you know I know how to get down and dirty. Right. There was right. no fart. Continue. No. Wait, what would you saying. know? And then John, that. I want you to chime in. Come on closer, so you're in the screenshot. Okay. So during the show, there was like an incredible hissing noise. I didn't it was, hear it. Right. You didn't hear it, but it was very distracting to me. Right. So I'm like in the control. I'm like, guys, there's a hissing noise. Like, what is that? It's like, it's it sounds so, crazy. So, but so. Kate, the chemist. Was that here. was on Kate the Chemist Day. Okay, John. Right, so we were, we were doing a, a, an experiment out here with a, a tank, it's called air gas. And we didn't have the proper hose okay, for this it. This is so way too topics, serious the right now. There's no way, way you just ripped right. ass. So, so what this tank is going thing. on for too is long. We were filling up a fish tank backstage. This is and we didn't a guilty have the proper person. Hose. This is, yeah. So, in other words, <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when you drop like a piece of aluminum foil inside the tank, uh -huh. it's supposed to float in midair. Okay. So it wasn't working. Okay. Because we didn't have the proper hose and the air was just coming out. You know out, she had a meeting with the whole crew? Oh yeah, they rehearsed this. Floating. And she was super serious and she was like, you guys find what happened. Mm -hmm. And then they all had to scramble like, and bring oh, out John. You, you ripped that. John, explain what happened. She's like Charlie with the conspiracy. She's like, no, yeah. we were doing the gas experiment, and he heard the hissing. <laughs> no. Dude, you ripped the ass lady. She probably did shit her pants. Maybe she did. Oh, my God. Okay? So that's what it was. So it, was it wasn't Wendy. <laughs> Thank you, John. Yeah, you're welcome, Wendy. Bull shit. John's career depended on the yeah. explanation yeah. right there. He's like, everybody in my field has lost respect for me. They know you can produce the sound of a fart. Dude, it sounds like there was a lab on your asshole. Why? No. No. That sound is just so stupid. That somebody off camera is producing a fart sound that strong? Dan, what do you think as the producer? Yeah, I mean, it, I guess they had this chemist on on the same day is what they're trying to pass it off on, but... It doesn't even, it doesn't sound like anything like that. Yeah. Play it again, Zach. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what, I mean that's like a beaker, like what? But just all, and like. Skin <laughs> flapping with gas so, passing past it. That's, so that's his, what that is. His story is that they were doing these tests the whole time. But just this one moment where she's cramped over and pauses, then all of a sudden just, it's just hissing, but then all of a sudden it's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But also, who does. Who does like loud testing during a live sh uh, show recording? There's bullshit, isn't it? I mean, there could have been something going on backstage, um, but yeah, I mean, that would have required a the sound guy to have left some microphone back there open, which you know was no. already unlikely, no and, way. and b the microphone specifically is mic'd on this one valve making a squeaking mm -hmm. noise like what it, it, it's you gotta such jump a clean so many loops yeah it's such a clean sound yeah. for that to come through to wendy i'm imagining if we wanted to capture a sound like that you would have to rig right a whole microphone it. just right, for that right right <laughs> right on it that's a, such a clean beautiful fart sound you could put that on like an audio library you know and also the one her producer kind of messed up her whole story because he says I heard the hissing, and I told him to fix it. So what kind of set is this where he says, I hear hissing, and it continues, and then m makes a fart sound? Well, it's easily disprovable. You can just go back. Do we hear the hissing in that clip? Reproduce. No. Yeah. There's Reproduce no the experiment. I want to hear. <laughs> Fartgate is not closed, Wendy. <laughs> Fartgate is open and, and more uh, us, more. They need to release the tapes. Conspiratorial than ever. Release the this tapes. Is, I demand like witnesses. Watergate. Yeah, exactly. It's a brooder phone. But farting is funny. You know, so I nervous. did a little research. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Just so I can give you a few facts about here, farts. Let me tell you. I just here, I I'm love about how much she goes it. on about it. Uh, that wasn't loud. But that, I heard it, but it wasn't yeah. loud. But yeah. Because I that. apparently am not normal. They say the average human being farts between 14 and 26 times a day. No. I know. When do you? Wait, so what are you audience. saying now? She doesn't fart that much. <laughs> She's saying she doesn't fart. I can't believe you're going to such this great length. This is the sound of a guilty person. 
God, can you look in this more? This is R. Kelly going on the interview. Yeah. Saying, <laughs> right. Leave me alone. Me. Yeah. It's all in the pause, how she pauses. Right? Right. Right. I'm fighting for my life. Clip, <laughs> that's you. I'll be honest. Clip, that's. <laughs> I love those girls who are like, yeah. Yeah, you see, everyone's lying, just like you. Now, see, I was about to give you some rhythm during commercials, but you just turned me all the way off in the white shirt. That's what? you? I see three, uh, Suzanne. Uh -huh. I don't know what team they play for. Do you play for my team? What are you talking what are you, about? What is going on? I don't, they, they Aren't look, people like, just they confused? They look, yeah, right? Uh -huh. Three they, strapping men uh, in the front. Uh, they look like Wendy, they you're a fucking a freak, bro. <laughs> that was such chaos. <laughs> your chaos. Nobody even knows what's going on. Why are people even there? It's just some confused lady who's like farting, ripping ass, and everyone's confused. <laughs> she looks like the Crypt Keeper. Just... I mean, it's not far from our show. Well, at least I'm not like in front of a live audience acting like I'm the shit. With the woo, woo, woo as a podcast. Nobody has expectations here. Crypt. Keeper. Look at the Crypt Keeper and tell me there's not a resemblance. I swear to God. Hang on, hold on. <laughs> what? To uh, Wendy? Yeah. Hold on. I'm telling you, there is. Here, look. <laughs> dead air, 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 dead air. I. Okay, here. What? <laughs> you see it? No. I see three. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Nope. <laughs> it's in the mm. eyes and the. Hair and everything. <laughs> no. I'm telling you, y'all are tripping if you don't see it. Okay, is Fartgate over? No. <laughs> it's just beginning. We demand answers. The American public demands to know. She looks like a frog. <laughs> a frog? Don't you think she looks like Crypt Keeper? No. You guys are wrong. Sorry. Maybe a tiny bit. Okay, just thank you. To give you. That's enough. We can move on now. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. So anyway, she denies it, yada yada yada. But then this brings me to another Wendy Williams one. She was actually got a lot of shit recently. Because she really is the worst. And it would be sad of me to not even mention that she got cancelled for making fun of Joaquin Phoenix's cleft lip which is a condition as you guys know it's a condition you're born with no? yeah yeah you're born where your lip is kind of pinned up towards your nose mm -hmm. and it's actually it's really easy to fix they kind of just i don't know what they do but you're just you're with a scar here so he's got a scar from being born with a cleft lip and um this is her take on uh, cleft lip uh, Joaquin. He knows how to transform, like when he shaves that off, but the way he looks at you. Yes, those piercing uh, eyes. Right? Those crazy piercing and, and eyes. And he's got that good nose, it dips way down. <laughs> like he's happy with it, so so am I. And when he shaves mm, off his mustache, you know, he's got a hair line. <sighs> she is what? such a trash human being. Like look at your face, lady. Talk about some, how other people look, my God. You want everyone yeah, to look how like- she's saying, like, how is he okay with his nose? Yeah. Is, was that done? Yes. <laughs> yes. I guess she thinks everyone should get plastic surgery yeah. and have their face botched Wait, liquor. she's talking about how hot he is. No, damn, listen back. She said- I don't know. She That's says his confused. nose, he's okay with his nose, so I guess I am too. That the Beyonce did not stand okay? with the rest of the Golden Globe room for. I barely clicked, bro. Just well, don't click. Click. I think you gotta learn how to use the, the keyboard to navigate Here. YouTube. Okay. okay, well, yes, Beyonce's sitting. First of all, she smiled, and I think that's enough. You know what I'm saying? She I smiled and clapped. Imagine the show. Imagine what, but I, I'm fascinated by her. People have been standing up and sitting down all night long, first of all. Second of all, nobody in this room is Beyonce. Okay, okay you went back way too far. different platform of... Are you not captivated by this? <laughs> no. Nope. She could have... And furthermore, no. in my universe... No. Am I too far? I think I'm too far. Okay, well. Again, oh sit down. God. Well... Bring the commercial break. Sw commercial break? Well, Dan's the, is the genius telling me to use these buttons, and now I'm trying to use the buttons, and nothing makes sense. Okay, here we go. Stop, Dan! I'm going the right direction. You see? 
Who oh is walking this with you before? Have How long have we been going, Dan? <laughs> here. I don't know anything about this Joker. But um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. Suzanne. Hot John in the Johnny Cash movie. He was right? hot, yes. And, and he knows how to transform. Like when he shaves that off, but the way he looks at you. Yes, those piercing uh, eyes. Right? Those crazy piercing and, and eyes. And he's got that good nose. It dips way down. <laughs> like he's happy with it. So, so am I. And you see, she thinks he should get plastic surgery and look like the crypt keeper. <laughs> like her. You know, when you get a certain amount of plastic surgery, everyone starts looking the same. It's like a different race. So she thinks that everyone should look like a... Frankly, uh, it looks like she has a birth defect. Can I say that? <laughs> it looks like she came out wrong. I don't know what you can or cannot say <laughs> when it comes to this stuff. And when he shaves off his mustache, he's got a hairline yeah. fracture. He's got one of those, um, what do you call it? Cleft lip. Yep. Cleft palate. Yep. He's, he's got yeah. this. Yeah. He's got this. Uh -huh. No, I find it to be. I find it to be very attractive. He doesn't have that. I feel like she's anyway, but just to you, trying to be funny, but so not. You know, I have to say, after watching the clip, I don't think it's as big of a deal as everyone yeah. said. She's just. She's always I, like this. I think they are in complimenting him, but in her way. Well, she's just a Which dummy. She's just. She's just the. You know. Like. Dips way down, <laughs> like he's happy with it. Is there an earthquake it? or something? So, so am I. <laughs> Table shaking. And when he oh, shaves you. Off his mustache, he's got a hairline yeah. fracture. He's got All one right. of those, um, what do you call it? Cleft lips. Just like yep. the fifth time we're watching this. He's, he's got yeah. this. Yeah. He's got this. Uh -huh. No, I fu So people just cap this and, <laughs> and then post, which is funny. But he doesn't have that. No, he, he does. fixed that. He was born with that and he fixed it and he has just a scar there. So, you know. What do you but guys anyway, think? that's not really something that she should make fun of because some people can't fix it. Oh yeah. Or they don't have the money. To yeah, it's a sh know. it's a real shame when people can't fix it because it's it's apparently really easy to address. Yeah, I had someone in school that had it. And they they couldn't fix it. Well, I, I mean, thought they I, have social health. I never health. talked to her about it, so I don't know. Maybe mm. they just don't have the money. I don't know. It's a real shame, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. But she's, I mean, if, it's like, you can't, you can't fault her for this. She's, her whole act is disgusting. You know what I mean? It's like, it's the whole show's the problem. So that's, that's my take. Uh, what do you guys think? Is she being, uh, offensive here or is this just Wendy passing gas as usual? It's, uh, <laughs> passing <yeah>. gas. <laughs> Seems like not that big a deal. Yeah. It's not any worse than calling her the Crypt Keeper. Dan, you're canceled. <laughs> uh, Zach, go ahead. I mean, it's fucked. I mean, why make fun of that? You know, Zach, you passed the purity test, Ian. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess Joaquin's playing the Joker, but Wendy's the one that's clowning. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I think you passed. I think you played it cool, and you didn't give an answer. But I do want a direct answer from you, Ian. So please. But he the came question. up with a joke. No, but I need to know if he passed the purity test or not. Can like a soundbite do it? <laughs> yeah, you got a soundbite for this, Zach? Yeah, I appreciate Zach. that. Thank you. Can you answer for me? You know, once you request the soundbite, you're <sighs> all bets are off, dude. <laughs> this is all a soundbite. I'm not actually talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Well, let's throw it to a break. Uh, we got a crap ton of stuff to get to. A frick load of stuff to get to, man. It's only been 30 minutes. We've only talked about <laughs> one story. <laughs> the Wendy show. But I love talking about Wendy. She's one of my favorites. <laughs> She's my favorite. That fart is pretty great sound I think bite. that sound bite is going to be around for a long time. <laughs> it's a work of fart. All right, wow, Ian. Sound bite yeah. that. Yeesh. Sound bite that. Wow. Sound bite that. Yeesh. Sound bite that. <laughs> I'm not touching this one, man. <laughs> All right, let's go to a quick break, guys. We'll be right back with lots more H3 podcasts here to entertain you during the... Actually, it only comes... I was going to say during the week, but it comes out on Saturday. Isn't that a shame? I don't know if... It is what it is. <laughs> it's not such a big deal, is Not it? such a big deal, it says. Okay, let's... let's. Don't enjoy it on the weekend. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have such a great weekend, guys. <sighs> go ahead, Dan. Go to break. All right. 
By this time, you've all heard about Honey, the free online shopping tool that automatically finds the best promo codes available to you on the internet and automatically applies them to your cart. You know how great it feels. But did you know how great it feels when you save with... They wrote jokes here, so let me lift off, list off these jokes here. Saving with Honey feels like sliding into a seat on the train just before the doors close. Honey, saving with honey feels like a no wiper. You know when you take a dump and it's a perfect... No, that's an original joke. I wrote that one right out of my head right now. Saving with money feels like when you take that perfect turd and you don't have to wipe not even once. That is the best. Uh, then the one that they wrote is hitting every green light on your commute. That's pretty good. Not that okay. original of an observation. Though. Saving with honey feels like finishing up your podcast episode right as you walk into work. <laughs> Saving with honey feel this is one I wrote. Finishing your load right before your mom walks in and catches you. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like as a kid, if you're in your room like jerking it and then you finish and then your mom walks in like a minute afterwards, you're like, oh my god, I could have she could have walked in on me, but I just finished my load. Right? Back me up, Zach. Oh my god! Back me up, Zach! Yes, 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 yes. Um, no, but all, in all seriousness, we love honey because it's not because of their jokes, no, but because of their service. Because they save you money for free. All you do is in two clicks install the honey extension on whatever browser you use, Chrome or otherwise. When you're at the cart of your favorite online store, it automatically searches the web and applies the best coupon code to save you a bunch of money. Take, for example, here we were shopping at the Gap. For young Theodore, we love Baby Gap. Guess what? Oh, oh, oh! I'm just, oh, I'm just stupid, Ethan. Da, 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 da. Oh, what? Dude, and it goes, da, 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 da. saved you eleven dollars and sixty cents, just like that, and it's free. Yeah. I don't even. Uh, it's fr it's free. I've probably saved almost a thousand dollars from buying shit online with Honey, and it, it, it's there's no catch. Um, <laughs> you know, Honey has found. Uh, it's over 18 million members, over $2 billion in savings. Wow. What? Did you know that Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, including Macy's, Target, Sephora, Best Buy, and more? And they're adding more every day. So using Honey feels pretty great. Think of it as a little daily victory. Plus, it's free to use and installs in just a few uh, seconds. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash h3. That's joinhoney.com slash h3. Now, we only have one sponsor today, uh -huh. and we have to run to the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm going to waste a little time. How much time are we at, Dan? Actually, I have three minutes. Oh, I'm at three minutes? Let's add one more minute. So people always wonder, did I, I've explained this so many times, but we don't cut. It's a live it's a live feed. Even though we don't live stream, just, it's a live feed. We don't want to edit. This is the raw, we don't, rawest of the raw. Yeah, exactly. Even though we're not live, we want it to be on filtered baby new teddy fresh drop comes out next thursday week, or actually less than a week now on thursday this it's is just some examples the of 2020 valentine's drop really fun stuff i have out. to say i think that this drop is going to set the tone for the whole year it's elevated the quality is insane the designs are insane you guys are going to see and feel the difference we're doing Lots of laboratory testing on our clothing to ensure We're the highest. We're always trying to improve. Oh, we are every day. Ela, this is an original Ela design. We workshopped this hoodie or the sweater for so long to get it perfect, and it came out amazing. You got the patches. You got the patches. You got, but there's there's a ton of great you shit you guys are gonna patches. want. Damn, you are bursting with teddy, uh, teddy bear bling on your necklaces as well. <laughs> I designed this shirt. I want to take full credit for that, although it's not that complicated. I just really like the the knit uh, collar. Yeah. Nice. And you got the bear patch, but I think it's a great shirt. Nice. So with that being said, uh, I think we're about ready to go back. What do you think, Dan? I think we're good. All righty. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We're back. We are back. Um, so... My next topic is a little bit delicate. I'm not trying to get canceled this early in the Here season. But I just want to discuss. Okay, so Joe Rogan, when asked who he would vote for 
in the Democratic primary, he said, Bernie Sanders. And he gave a really um, compelling argument, and I think a really flattering argument for Bernie. He said, he's been around, Mm -hmm. he's so consistent, he's been saying the same thing his whole career. He's rock solid. You know what I mean? And then uh, Bernie, well, here's the video. I think I'll show it for, uh, for everyone's reference. I think I think I'll probably vote for Bernie. Him as a human being, when I was hanging out with him, and yeah. I, I believe in him. I like him. I like him a lot. What Bernie stands for is a guy who, well, look, you could, you could dig up dirt on every single human being that's ever existed if you catch them in their worst moment, and you magnify those moments, and you cut out everything else, and you only display, display those worst moments. That said... You can't find very many with Bernie. He's been True. insanely consistent his entire life. He's basically been saying the same thing, been for the same thing his whole life. And that in and of itself is a very powerful structure to operate from. Okay. I totally agree. So, so Bernie Sanders' official Twitter uh, posted this uh, clip. They just... Uh basically like retweeted it right but they right they, yeah in they short quoted what joe rogan said i think they actually made an ad of it because it says paid for by bernie 2020 oh it's pretty amazing that they're at, that they're okay. that they see they find him that credible that's so cool for both of them <laughs> but so now um i guess people within the progressive left are outraged by this for example here's one prominent tweet they says Joe Rogan has had friendly interviews with Milo. What's how do you say his last name? Yannopoulos. Y- Yannopoulos, I think. Or something and like Jordan that. Peterson yelled, "You're a fucking man on air about a trans woman." Vocally argued against allowing trans kids puberty blockers this year. Says fag. And believes the world is stacked against men. So enjoy. Okay. So first of all, the even if you're not happy with who Joe Rogan is, isn't it great if Bernie can pull <coughs> people from a different range mm-hmm. of what they believe in? Like right. that's exactly what you would need to beat Trump. Right. Or even just to find a common understanding. Right. Right? Like but first of all, the claims she's making are so outrageous. First of all, his interview with Milo is what destroyed his career. But she said herself, a friendly interview. What's the problem with that? You can't have a friendly interview? Well, uh, apparently not. A lot of people think, no, you can't. Well, so Milo, Milo, he had this, when he during that interview, he said something about how, like, pedophilia is normal within the gay community. And Joe shredded him on that so hard and pretty much got his whole career Ruined his whole career. So to just call it, first of all, your point is valid enough, but to call it a friendly interview is not the case. I watched a lot of that interview, and it was not friendly. It was very combative. So that's dishonest. And there's nothing wrong with having a friendly interview with people. Yeah. Conversations are good. These people think that if you disagree with them, you can't have a conversation. And that's, that's I mean, I mean, this tweet is just so wrong. Everything about it. Then she goes on to say Jordan Peterson. Again, I don't understand why Jordan Peterson is such a boogeyman in this progressive left circle. I don't get it. Um, I think he has some side to him that maybe a lot of people don't agree with. But I don't think he's like Voldemort. It's like you cannot be associated really smart, with his name guy. at we- all. We had him on the show. We didn't discuss any you political stuff. You just mentioned stuff. In his name, and you're alt right. It's I don't weird. Get, I just don't get that. I mean, I don't get it. You know, he's you don't got, have to agree on everything. I don't think I agree with a lot of his stuff. Yeah, I, I definitely don't. But he's, you can't not say he's not a smart guy and doesn't have things to listen to to un, to uh, listen to about. You know, if there's someone you disagree with where they're coming from, you're better off ha- listening to them understanding where they're coming from and having that conversation. They don't want that conversation to even take place. Yeah. Which to me just seems that their whole plot, their whole stance is, uh, 
how will anyone it move weak. forward like it's just that weak. if if both sides will just never talk to each other what what is this going to look like at the end <laughs> She said, yelled, you're a fucking man on air about a trans woman. So, again, there's no context, but yeah. the context is that he's talking about trans athletes competing against women. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, he's a comedian, so he's trying to be funny and outrageous, but I think the point he's, he, the conversation he's having is a valid one. There's no context at all. You know, it's just dishonest to frame it like, oh, he just said, you're a fucking man. Mm-hmm. Like, he's just screaming that to trans right. people. No, he's talking about a specific topic which is contentious and controversial and i do think that uh it's definitely a conversation you cannot say that a trans a man who transitions to a woman doesn't have an upper hand against biological women in an athletic competition i mean that just seems outrageous but at any rate maybe i'm wrong i think it's a conversation and i think it's a conversation because it's it, this is all very new, and some of it might be unknown. I don't know what happened to your body if you're taking yes certain um, so hormones. while I agree with it, Joe on the face value, there's a conversation to be had, but they don't want that conversation. They just they they just write him off as you're a fucking man, which he's he's, he's what he's saying is you're biologically born a man. Uh, vocally argued against allowing trans kids puberty blockers this year. Again, that is a very contentious conversation to me. That seems like totally insane to give a child something that can tran- that can block puberty. I mean, that's just they're just a child. I mean, how could they? How can? They, but any, my, the point is again, I don't know the facts. I'm not going to argue one way or the other. But again, that seems like a, a fairly contentious issue. So I don't think that's outrageous for him to argue that. Says fag. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. It's just thrown in there so I don't know and believes the world is stacked against men I don't think he believes that either um, I don't think he even believes that but again it's just thrown in there so it's like these are like the pre-canned responses to delegitimize anything he has to say and you know it's like they have this purity test for the left if you disagree if you get anything wrong you're not worthy Yeah. there's no gray it's like uh, it's just it's crazy. It's, I can't believe it's just people... such a weird direction that they want things to move to. But I wonder if um, I do wonder because I mean this like has fourteen thousand likes. This I'm tweet. assuming this person wants Trump out of office, right? Oh yeah, I'm sure. So how is this gonna help anything? They wouldn't just want to watch the whole world burn. It seems like <laughs> they don't. Just, they, you know what I mean? Like, um, I made a tweet about it, and then. Like, everybody's calling me transphobic because I... Oh, that's not that. That's not the tweet I made. That's Hot Girls for Bernie. (laughs) All I was just giving context to uh, Joe's... uh, to To the tweet, trying to give context. By the way, what he said about Bernie... Is just true. Has nothing to do with trans people. A vouch of good character on Bernie's side. And I, I, yeah, it has nothing to do with anything. Why would you ruin that for Bernie? (laughs) They just hear the name Joe Rogan and then they get triggered and go, uh, oh, attack. They're ready. He was already on the show. They're ready to not support Bernie because he retweeted that. That's it. It's that easy. Like, An- I saw Anthony Bernie, Fantano. How could you? Anthony Fantano made a good response to that her tweet. He says, "Whoever you're planning to vote for would have gone on his show in a heartbeat, mm-hmm. but he didn't want to. You know what I mean? Like apparently Warren was trying to get on his show, and Biden was trying to get on his show, but he didn't want them on the show. So I said, I, I said Joe Rogan's interview destroyed Milo. Jordan Peterson is not the boogeyman. You're a man to trans athletes competing against women." Puberty blockers to children is literally insane. Okay, that's my take. Maybe that's my take. I think it's a whatever. Would you even pass your own purity test under the same microscope? Nobody would chill. Each one of those are such a big conversation. You just can't. But then here they go. Uh, Here's the top comment. Lots of transphobia from here, from you here, Ethan. I'm disappointed. I'm just giving context to what he said. How am I being transphobic? I don't even know how to not be transphobic. Like, how do I not be transphobic? I don't know. These are all... These are all new things. Like, how is everyone already supposed to know what's the right answer to everything? 
But I do this wonder... This puberty blockers. There's a lot to even know about it. I mean, on face value, that sounds really messed up. To me, too. Yeah, on but the face value, maybe I'm wrong. I know that some people are already doing it, so I don't know. There's probably a lot to be educated about. I have no idea. But why already cancel me for not knowing or having an opinion? Well, know. apparently I'm transphobic. I don't think I'm transphobic at all, personally. I personally think in, on that case, like... But also, I'm not, I just said that I'm just giving context here, you know. Make whatever judgment call you want about Joe Rogan, but I just think that this person took everything he said totally out of context. Yeah. And I responded K just because I knew whatever I would say wouldn't be enough for them. Yeah. And I just, I take the charge so outrageous to, to accuse me of being transphobic. I mean, I'm an ally. I don't hate trans people. I don't I hate know, gay people. I, know, I support their rights and what they're doing. But it's like they I'm not enough. That's why this stuff is so frustrating. I'm, I'm yeah. definitely your ally. That's what's so weird is that they want to cannibalize people like me. Yeah. Because I'm not, I'm transphobic apparently. But they but have the real enemies. Real transphobic people are out there. Oh, yeah. It's There's just, people out there that want to kill transphobic people, gay people and all this. Trans people because of religious beliefs or they're just, I don't know, scared of it. That's not me. I'm yeah. your ally. You gotta, you, you guys gotta chill with this. But I also wonder if, on Twitter, these groups they organize and they have a way of amplifying their voice right. in a way that's not at all representative. Yeah. Well, they all have vested interests they too. They're like forums. Do, or do, they... I, I haven't clicked through, but I mean, have you taken a look at the person that you replied to? Mm -hmm. Have you looked at their profile? Mm -hmm. I mean, I can almost guarantee you that they're like a hardcore Biden or Warren supporter. You know what I mean? They're we they're weaponizing this because this is a useful tool to them to get an advantage electorally. Mm. I I don't know who they support, but uh, I haven't seen any. Let's I can see. almost guarantee you it's not Bernie. <laughs> Interesting. Well, there has been a whole play to discredit Bernie from. Yeah. A, it seems like an organized effort from Hillary and Warren to to kind of try to destroy Bernie. Which I'm looking been... through her profile right now. She looks like she's a pretty hardcore Warren person. Yeah, I figured. Warren. So there you go. Well, sorry, lady. Warren's pulling at 13 percent. She's gone. <laughs> Warren. The whole thing is absurd too, because it's like you know you can take issue with the individuals that support Bernie, but I mean it, you know if if you claim to care about. Um, you know, trans rights and stuff. Uh, there's nobody who has a shot at actually winning right now that is as good for those things as Bernie. Mm -hmm. So you're completely self sabotaging. That is what I don't get. Yeah. It, it, like, without a question. <laughs> if this is your goal, ultimately, her goal should be that a Democratic nominee will win. Right. Exactly. Ultimately, that would be the best thing for trans people. I think her goal, if she, if you were, if she was honest, would be just to. I think they just addicted to being a victim. Mm -hmm. They like being in that position because when you're the underdog and you're the victim, you can pretty much get away with anything. And um, I just, I don't know. I mean, I don't think they really think that far. They just think about. And they don't know how to win. Like, Democrats are so stupid. It's unbelievable. Well, like, if, this, if they amplify voices like this, then we'll never win another election exactly. again. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's like painful. you, you got to get a broad set of people on board with you. <laughs> right. and Can like, you imagine we, people like, what, like uh, you know, farmers in Iowa, what they would think of, of, of a tweet like this? Yeah. Well, thankfully, I mean, people. thankfully, I, most of those people aren't on Twitter. And that's the thing is like the whole Twitter thing is just it's it's a it's, bubble of media right. people. But I'm just it saying really isn't reflective of the if you're Warren out. or or um, Chiller, Chillery Clinton, <laughs> it's so easy to absorb this because you want to appease these people and you think it's important that there's a lot more people than there are. Speak, speaking yeah. of which, how much you want to bet that woman loves Hillary Clinton and had no fucking problem with her going on Howard Stern a couple weeks ago, who is like <laughs> a thousand times, like has said a thousand <laughs> times more problematic things than Joe Rogan has ever done. Are you kidding? It's Howard fucking Stern. Like, what? So... <laughs> Howard's you know. pretty, I mean, yeah, he jokes around a lot, but he is... I'm talking historic, like, yeah, sure. I mean, he's had a long career. Yeah, there's there's a been a lot How of stages of yeah. Howard. Howard gets a lot of uh, shit, for yeah. sure. <laughs> um, well, that's why she went on now and not when she's running, and everybody responded great. I thought that interview was amazing until I saw what she said about Bernie, and now I'm back <laughs> to hating her, <laughs> despising her. Let's talk no. about that, because it's a good segue. Um... Bernie has been slamming Biden on his history of trying to cut Social Security 
And recently, Biden, uh, I just want to watch this clip of him tripping. All right, let's clip Biden. Fuck Biden. Hillary came out, and she's making a new documentary. Let's start with this. Let's set the tone. (laughs) I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Can't wait to watch a long documentary about that woman. Can't can't wait. Jesus. (laughs) <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> so in her documentary, she says he was in Congress for years. He had one senator support him. Nobody likes him. Nobody wants to work with him. He got nothing done. He was a career politician. It's it all just baloney. And I feel so bad for people that got sucked into it. You know, it takes a lot of balls for Hillary to call someone a career politician. <laughs> And to and say nobody likes him, I yes. like him. I mean, look who's talking. I like him a lot. <laughs> she basically so threw crazy. the most win. The like, she like twisted destiny. Like in a, in like one billion universes, she wins that election. <laughs> but she's the one version of Hillary that's so unlikable <laughs> that she actually <laughs> fucked up. A basically, hundred percent chance to win. <laughs> um. Oh. So if he gets nominated, will you endorse him? They ask. I'm not going to go there yet. We're still in a very vigorous primary season. I will say, however, that it's not only him. It's the culture around him. It's his leadership team. It's his prominent supporters. It's his online Bernie bros. And the relentless attacks on lots of competitors, particularly women. Shut up. No She's just way. Bitter. She's so this bitter. This whole narrative that is against women, where is it coming from? Well, they're they're grasping at straws. That's so insane. Because so this insane. is coming off the heels of... Well, Ila, uh, if he supported women, why does he uh, run in an election against one? Obviously, uh-huh. he hates them. He should have resigned. I mean, that's literally, when you when you boil it all down, that is the mentality. So well, insane. I listened to an interview on Howard, and she was very bitter about Bernie. She was bitter that he didn't endorse her sooner so she b- actually in part blames bernie for her loss and not herself with these chillerly clinton videos Hillary. <laughs> god what a bitter fucking uh, i don't like her anymore she had a good week where we all liked her for one week <laughs> so here is when warren sanders by the way so so there's a story out that uh Bernie told Warren that he doesn't think a woman, a woman can win the presidency, which on the face value, again, he's got a lifetime of, of credibility to back him up. Mm-hmm. And that's not something he would ever say. I mean, it's just stupid to even think yeah. that. So then the story leaks, right? And then Warren all of a sudden is like, I have to confirm that he did indeed say that. Such a big story. By the way, this whole thing backfired because Bernie is now almost the forerunner and and Warren, she's like dead. She's only pulling at 12% nationally now and she's Bernie's done. at 28. I, mean, that was, I think this story ruined her. That was so awful. She was already on her way out, but it definitely was the stake through the heart. I think she was just trying to take Bernie down on her way out. <laughs> Not happening. But anyway, here they go. Listen, CNN too, which by the way, I mean, everybody jokes on CNN, but this is just... So outrageous. Watch how they frame this. Senator Sanders, I do want to be clear here. You're saying that you never told Senator Warren that a woman could not win the election. That is correct. Senator Warren, what did you think when Senator Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? (laughs) (laughs) It's unbelievable. You dumb. The audience even laughs because it's so on its surface absurd. Like, How that? can you not? I mean, it's just offensive. It's just so stupid. Why did you already decide that he said it? But that's not even the good. The good follow up question is, did he say it? Yes. Because then let's see who. Let's let's but figure this out. The way it's phrased, she already decided he did. Say He's it. lying. Now, what was your? Th- but it's just. Wow, that woman should. I don't know what to say. She's a professional journalist and, uh, interviewing potentially the next president. I mean, this is outrageous. This whole debate thing. Like, why is CNN? Involved? Why are any of the cable right. news networks involved? Period. Like, why do we do it this way? This is so crazy and backward that these corporate news networks run the debates. Like, what? I actually don't know why. 
Well, who would do it then? The Democratic? Just a, a, a nonpartisan commission, something. I mean, well, who pays for it, though? The the candidates. I mean, that's who pays for it now. Well, I guess advertisers partially pay for it as well. Really? But I thought CNN would pay for it. <clears throat> no, I mean, they're all organized by the DNC, and they do it in partnership with these. But I, mean, I think they must pay a lot of money for the rights to Yeah, potentially, to so they this. can sell against advertisers. Yeah, yeah but it, it just shouldn't be commodified. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, it shouldn't be a... Yeah, well, for profit because endeavor. of these moments, billionaires because shouldn't of stuff be like able this. to. Yeah, exactly. You they shouldn't be able to buy a moment. Bloomberg spent 150 million dollars on ads, which he outspent every candidate by like 100, 100 times. So he shouldn't be able to do that either. But there you have it. I disagreed. Bernie is my friend, and I am not here to try to fight with Bernie. But look. This question about whether or not a woman can be president has been raised, and it's time. You for know us they rehearsed to... this. They this mm -hmm. was like a they set her up. Yeah, she's got a written out. So fuck response. you. And then here is the post debate conversation on with a hot mic. I think you called me a liar on national TV. Yeah, no, you did. You I called think him you called a liar. Me a liar on national TV. Let's not do it right now. You want He's so smart. We'll yeah. Yeah. He's like our mics are on, dum dum. But CNN, this is all orchestrated, man. And then CNN, by the way, leaked the audio. Well, yeah, and she <laughs> she knows very well that this is being recorded and oh, yeah. it's going to be a moment. Yeah, and he handled it actually like a pro because he, he didn't let it turn into a moment. Yeah. And Tom You tell he's pissed, though. Like, yeah. yeah. It's like, I mean, what are you doing? Because yeah. it's such low character. He's so smart because he could have gone, he could have been like, well, you, you did lie or yeah. you could have taken it at anybody. He didn't even say anything negative about her. He just said, let's not do this now. I think he, he handled it like a goddamn pro who's been around. Watch Tom Stoyer. He's such a fucking idiot. He's like, he just wants to Sorry, say hi to Bernie. It's like, now's not the time, bozo. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> Tom Stoyer. <laughs> He just paid, Bernie Tom's, has never been more Larry David than in that. I clip. love it's the Larry Bernie. <laughs> it's merge. honestly amazing. You know, Tom Sawyer. It's it looks so like good. he just paid a hundred million dollars. Steyer is his name, by the way. Tom Steyer. I feel like. I mean, who cares who the fuck he is? Tom's. But, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But just just okay, to be Steyer. Steyer. Mega doo doo. <laughs> so anyway, I'm I'm Team Bernie. Yang is actually pulling at 8%, which is exciting, but I'm... Uh, both would be amazing. I mean, I'm Team Bernie and Yang. Speaking of Larry David, there was this great clip of Larry David telling <laughs> TMZ to fuck off. Here. Another great segue. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this. <laughs> I'm telling you, how are we supposed to? Larry, we waited seven hours for you. Waited seven hours. Did you want each Larry? Find another way to make money, okay? Because this is fucked. This is fucked up. <laughs> Nobody wants to do this. We don't want to do this. Why are you doing it? <laughs> I've seen you at the airport, okay? Stop it! <laughs> Shit! Nobody wants it. Oh Nobody God. wants this. Stop this. Actually... Just stop it, okay? <laughs> He's still it's fucking everything. annoying to do this. To see you all the time. Do you understand? No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, I love that he still signs it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you, Larry. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> Have a great night, Larry. Sides them all. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Larry, please. I waited seven hours for you. <laughs> Amazing. The best. He's right, though. Those guys are the fucking worst. When I saw this pop up, my heart stopped for a second because <laughs> I thought it was going to be him, like, yelling at a you know, attendant at the parking lot or something. Uh, like I thought it was going to be bad on him, and then I was so relieved impossible. to see that it was... Impossible. He's yeah, the classy he like, sack. Yeah, impossible. he was just laying into these paparazzi people. Hell yeah. So, oh, here's our here's our big story of the, of the uh, day. Now, you guys all know Jay Station. You remember him. We've talked about him. He brought back to life Etika, who was the YouTuber who... 
had in, uh, uh, he had uh, taken his own life um, and was very public, was very talked about. And Jay Station, that very next day, summoned his ghost via Ouija board, which a lot of th- people thought was tasteless, which is to put it mildly. He's also summoned uh, Mac Miller, lots of, lots, he, I mean, he's the trashiest person, not on YouTube, but possibly alive to date. Um, he posted a video saying that his girlfriend had died, which is sad. But then when you look at the thumbnail, this is the thumbnail. (laughs) That's the thumbnail. So she apparently, according to him, died the day before. And then he went home, made this video and this thumbnail. This thumbnail is just unforgivable. There's no... You know, I saw this story, and then when I saw the thumbnail, I was like, (gasps) (laughs) you know. And obviously a lot of people are saying that it's fake. Even if, so even if she is actually dead, which there's about a 0% chance. (laughs) Even if she is dead. This is almost even (laughs) worse for him. I mean, he looks like even... I don't know what's worse, faking someone's death or doing this if they actually died. I think doing this if they actually (laughs) died is worse. I mean, faking that someone died is pretty bad. I think what he's going to (laughs) do is be like, uh, oh my God, she's back. (laughs) You know? I Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> this is all he's gonna resurrect her. Yeah, he's gonna some sort uh, of like necromantic. Uh, I think she. Ceremony. So is his channel becoming like superpower? I don't understand. What is yes. this? Well, yes, we're digging all... into it yesterday because they it... went from like fake uh, ghost. Yeah, it's supernatural. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, well, we were watching some of his content yesterday, uh, just dying laughing, and <laughs> yeah, I mean he. He's got all kinds of crazy stuff. He's doing like genetic experiments. He's doing, <laughs> he's talking to the dead. He's he's wiling out. I think what happened is she Weird. probably went on a on a short trip or vacation somewhere. <laughs> she's dead. And so he did a she's dead, and then he's gonna ru- he's gonna resurrect her. But people buy it anyway. Here's the video. It's four minutes and a half. Look at the acting. It's so bad. yeah. What's up, guys? There's no way. <laughs> I never Maybe wanted to make there. a video like this ever. But last night. Didn't he have another girlfriend that died? Apparently. Yes. Yes. So if I'm the FBI and all of a sudden these guys' girlfriends keep disappearing, and if this really happened, I have this guy in custody as the FBI. So this has, like, a legit amount of views and like ratio. Yeah, the, the vast majority are likes. Wow. It's it was actually much better uh, yesterday when we were looking at it, I think because it's getting attention. It's been it's, posted it's probably dislike, somewhere. Yeah, it's getting dislike-bombed. But uh, when we came across it yesterday, it was it was all upvotes. The top comment is, try to connect with her with a Ouija board for one last I love you. <laughs> Rest in peace, Alexia. We will miss you. You wrote and pinned and favorited. <laughs> <laughs> the favorite. <laughs> Last night we lost Alexia. What if she did die? Last Should night, I feel bad? It's been 24 drive, hours. <laughs> yeah, it was like six hours, six hours prior. What is he wiping? His forehead? Yeah, his forehead. <laughs> his eyebrows. His eyebrows start tearing up. For our video we were making on our second channel, Dream <laughs> That's Team. not where the tears come out. <laughs> not it, guys. <laughs> Why is he wiping his eyebrows? She's gone. She's gone. So if she's dead, actually. Sorry for crying. No, I know you Sorry guys are gonna crying. make fun of me for crying. Yeah, we're gonna make fun of <laughs> you for crying. Why bring his eyebrows? She's <laughs> Do you not know where you cry from? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so let me ask you: If Ethan, his girlfriend actually died, sorry for crying. Yeah, that's your ear. Last right? night around 11 p.m. You don't I cry got from a your ear. From her parents sorry. <laughs> telling me what happened. As Wait, you guys probably know, Wait, we had a channel he, together. I thought he said that um, they were filming together. 
Nah, whatever. Team, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. Go subscribe. We had about five videos that we had filmed. We were ready to post on that channel. Why are you just promoting your second channel, bro? <laughs> oh, you know, I think he was explaining because I because I saw someone say that he still posted a your video with was her. Just to get a million subscribers, oh, the same day. And we were so That's awesome. This is his explanation. Doing that, guys. We were oh, so, wait. He's just this is yeah. Here's where it all. <laughs> he's goes. just yeah, driving subs. <laughs> it was our only dream we to get three hundred thousand. What a fucking scumbag! I should post the remainder videos. Oh, that, that was that that her last wish on that channel. It was for it was a million for, subs. He's barely talking about her. <laughs> it was her. A dream to get a million subscribers. So <laughs> let's see how many subs they got. Out of respect got, no. for her, because I know that's what she would want. I'm gonna post those videos there. Uh, but after those. <laughs> After those videos, <laughs> this guy is such a fuck. <laughs> There's no more. <sighs> Wipe your eyebrows. This guy would fucking murder his own grandma if he if it got him more subscribers. After those videos, there's no more. Who records into the <laughs> sun? Alexia. Like that's so amateur, bro. Because the the light keeps changing. I know she's in because a better place right now, guys. He just, just wants to, to show off the, the view. I'm probably not going to be able to upload on this channel for a while. I hope you guys can understand. Like, she meant everything to me. She's been living with me for the last four months, guys. Like, she's been my world for the last four months. Anyway, that go subscribe. For that long. She's just gone, just like that. Four months? Everything was yeah, going she's so been my word for the last four months. So good with us. I never met a girl like her. If she I actually did die, he murdered her. <laughs> I'm sure of it. She's think not dead. She's not dead, though, yeah. He'll bring her back in a week. Anyways, I'll probably post those videos on that channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be in the description, guys. Oh, my God. Let's go to the description. Oh, five, to go. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget Anyways, to like, forget to like subscribe. subscribe. Yeah, look, he links to everything. Uh, also the button, don't forget the button. Follow me on Twitter. He's Instagram. got that merch in there, too. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen one here. So this is the video he posted. Actually, it has an incredible like-dislike. You mean a lot of likes? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this this is the video that he posted the same day? Yeah. He didn't get that many subs. <laughs> All that. He wanted a million, <laughs> but... It's only at 323. Because he said that they were. Wait, he already posted another one seven hours ago. He said he, they have five He's videos. Fulfilling ready to her go. last wish. This is her last oh wish. Oh my God. To get a million subs, dude. Dude, you gotta be kidding <laughs> Hit me. Hit that sub button. This is my account. I wanna, I wanna subscribe. Let's see what the comments are on this. I love this. This was her dream from the grave. I love you guys. Thanks for all the support. So they were. He said they were just under three hundred thousand, right? What's up, Dream Team? If you haven't seen Jan or I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, because they're only at three twenty-three. What's up, Damn. Dream Team? If you haven't seen, God, she's annoying. <laughs> you think? Look at this intro, Ela. What's up, Dream Team? If you haven't seen Jano's last video, we got hooked up to a. I mean, what girl? Could I be mean, with who him? would be with him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what up, invaders? <laughs> So, there's more to this story. Uh, there's ads on that video, by the way, we forgot to mention. I took screenshots just because I couldn't believe it, but there's like hella ads on that video. Um, my girlfriend died. Rest in paradise. Sp brought to you by Monday.com. <laughs> Make more time for actual work, Monday.com. I love YouTube, man. They're the best. Fuck me, right? I'm a, I'm a problem. I'm a problem. Mm -hmm. Fucking unbelievable. Video of him going to the site where she died also has ads on it. What's up, guys? I just got off the phone with Alexia's parents. They had set up a memorial on the side of the road for Alexia. So right now, me and Ahmed are just on our Let way just skip ahead. to that location. And we're going to say our last goodbyes. To Alexia. Not going You're to the funeral. Such a bad actor, bro. Yeah. 
I bought her these roses. Yeah, there is a funeral, dumbass. Oh my god, this is... This is almost like a comedy. I, I think I want to watch the whole thing. It's too much for me to handle right now. Maybe this don't make a video. This is actually the same road that she passed away on, guys. Here, let's like I just. Said, it was I, a I, I actually, drive. I can't do this. You do, you do. What the? F no, no, no. That's. <laughs> Maybe they'll see a ghost. Let's just go say the final goodbye for. I our... thought that's what this was Everything. leading up to when we. No ghost. Check it out. No, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. No Ouija board. That's coming up. He's yes. gonna milk this. Oh yeah. Just say goodbye. Fine. Oh my. We're gonna miss you. Yeah, the parents set that up. That looks like a five-year-old did that. Yeah, it looks like you spent ten minutes doing it before you shot this. Also, those are fake. Those are fake candles. Yeah. Yeah, you just went to party. But the battery you? doesn't last that long. He clearly just set it up. Those don't. Those don't last that long. <laughs> yeah, he just stopped at Party City for sure. Do you guys have a memorial aisle? <laughs> By the way, there's snow covering the ground, and that teddy bear looks fresh as hell. Like, it looks like it just snowed the night before. <laughs> I took this picture of Alexia picture. in my house. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Those cars are so gonna happy. hit him. We'll have a real death. Always so happy. She just <laughs> How does she just... This is like, I've this is like, life. um... As bad as YouTube gets. It's new bad. This is, but this guy's like, willing thought, to do anything. I thought he was at the level of like Lance Stewart faking a ghost in right, the house. Right, right, right. But this is a. It's a new. It's a new low. It's new. Frankly, to He's an innovator. A, to use that term that's <laughs> overused a bit, but it is a new low. But this guy is is quite literally willing to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Not easy. <laughs> Life. She just Lance actually seems like a decent guy. She loved <laughs> yeah, animals. that's what always happens, you know. <laughs> right. The uh, there's like the there's generations. Because mm. when uh, when all those uh, pranksters were going out of fashion and new stuff were, were coming up, they started to seem like not that bad. You mean like how Logan and Jake Paul looked <laughs> yeah. in comparison? Right, they're different bad. I mean, SoFlo was a f such a f cock. SoFlo is still legendary bad. And the pranks in the hood were was probably some of the worst. Yeah. The worst shit But the Spider-Man and Elsa was kind of like harmless. Oh, yeah, well, that's actually, when... Well, actually, kids watching that. Yeah, there were some titty grabbing and weird sexual stuff for sure. And they're all Jeez. bad. But this is the worst, for sure. <laughs> okay. This is definitely the worst I've seen. Is that a Gavinci? <laughs> hat? It's like a designer five hundred dollar hat. I'll never find a girl like this again. Jay, he doesn't even have real go, tears. Bro. bro, don't worry, we'll we bring her go. back to life in a way. <laughs> Without her. Man. Amazing. So you know, so this is actually this guy kinda went above and beyond what was necessary, but I appreciate the hustle. This guy, uh, ordered some ordinary gamer, he said, J Station is lying about his dead girlfriend. I've spent the entire night browsing and checking with police departments in Toronto and Ottawa. No police reports, no local news agencies, and worst of all, no family is confirming. So, I mean, he said, I legitimately felt so bad after hearing the death of this person. I wish I didn't try and look into it and lie to myself instead. I'm clenching my fucking fist. <laughs> and rip some blood out, realizing that some fuckface actually lied about dying like this. I'm so fucking mad. Well, I mean, I, I mean, relax. I mean, he, that yeah. he already did wrong when he legitimately felt bad. I mean, we all knew he was lying, but I appreciate you going through the effort too. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, that's what he said. But I think we all already know that. I guarantee you. Does anyone want to bet that he'll bring? Does anyone want action on that? That he'll bring her back, yeah. resurrect her in a, in a week. I mean, is anyone here betting otherwise? I feel like we're all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. If or, anybody's or, gonna I mean, the that. other alternative <laughs> theory that may not result in her coming back is they just broke up. I, I had right. that thought as well. And but she would show she up would on social something. media or something. I think right. So too. Right. Or maybe he just had an agreement like, I'll pay you if you don't say anything about it. But I think it's so epic if he broke up with her and then's posting videos they pre recorded. Mm -hmm. So awesome. She's alive. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, J Station. There you have it. I wonder, has he posted anything new? Let's see. Um, how are people even taking this seriously, like making articles about it? He There's obviously made it up. My last day in Texas, decided to spend it with Kayla. He obviously made it up. Like, what are we debating? He made it up. I mean, Kobe person is still being showed in classes, so. Wait, that's a good point, Ela. What's up, guys? So today's where, that's his other chance to spend it with Kayla. What's up? Wow. <laughs> so yeah, just picked her up and. What's up, guys? I just got off the phone with Alexia's parents. They had set up a memorial. No, on... <laughs> oh, so this is his last upload. Well, I'm certainly looking forward that to the song. That thumbnail is so legendary. Yeah, I I was to, I was absolutely blown away when I saw that. <laughs> well, I was like, if she really died, and before I really looked into it and even watched the video, now I have no question about it. But I was like, if she actually died, I wonder what can we say about it. But then when I saw that thumbnail, I was like, oh, oh my God! <laughs> I feel like YouTube needs an award ceremony for worst. And then, like, this one could compete like the for the worst for YouTube. That's a great idea. Logan Paul in the forest would be a top one. Guys. That's a lifetime achievement. Look right there. at this thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> People are actually writing articles saying, he, yeah, dude, just what the hell are we even talking about? Oh, my God. He's the trashiest dude alive. Just look at him. I mean, just listen to him. Just, God, can you imagine hanging out with these people? They might have kids someday. What do you think about that? They'll probably kill their kid. They'll probably do a Mike Child Died video. I bet you he would. I... Uh, they do have a kid. They ordered it off the dark web. Uh, okay. I saw that video yesterday. Right. Okay, okay. <laughs> if they actually had a kid, if he had an infant child, three months old, he would make a video of my baby died. I can't wait for that. <laughs> anyway, there you have it, Jay Station. Uh, we have some other exciting news. You know, China has a lot of exports. What did you just link me, Dan? I, I just searched Jay Station baby. Oh, he actually does have a dark web baby. You weren't kidding. Shut up. Very, very, very Gremlin baby, twenty one hundred bucks. This is a. All right, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> so China has a lot of exports. In fact, they're they're beating the world with how they're exporting everything. Everyone gets everything from China. But did you know that China's number one export is world-ending pandemics? It seems like every pandemic starts in China. Probably because there's so many people and poor conditions. For example, you guys probably heard about the cor uh, cor coronavirus, which is the hot new world-ending pandemic. Um, but SARS started in uh, China, I believe. And the pig virus started in China. Is they, it? Oh, yeah, they do it all. They're number one. I don't know. Number one in the world. This new virus called the uh, coronavirus is apparently uh, infected it's infected like 800 people uh, two in America but they, they caught them or here it says 300 I think it's gone up to 800 Keeps and, going up. Yeah. and it's killed 25 but that's China's official reporting you know it's probably 10 times what they're saying I mean there's a lot of incredible footage so let me put this in, in context here uh, Wuhan, where it originated, has been entirely quarantined by China. You cannot go in or out of this entire city. Do you know how many people live in Wuhan? Guess. Go ahead, guess. New York, for context, ha or L.A. has like 5 million or something. Yeah. 11 million people. Just in there. In Wuhan alone. Which probably makes it one of the most populous cities in the entire world. But it's just one of many mega cities in China. That's how populated wow. it is. Here's what it looks like. Someone, th the entire city is quarantined. No one in, no one out. That's crazy. It's never been done before. Quarantining it in a city this big. Look at this. Oh my god. No one in, no one out. 
At least they're taking it seriously. Yeah, but everyone in that city is gonna fucking die. <laughs> 11 million people. It is good they're doing that. I mean, I agree. Uh, look at this. This was pretty crazy, too. Someone taking a video of a doctor in tears on the phone with a superior. This is one of the doctors in Wuhan. He seems to be a translation I saw is that he's saying they can't handle more patients. Wow. It's over capacity and he wants them to stop sending patients. Uh, the people are trying to send more doctors, but he replies he doesn't want more doctors. There's literally no room for patients. Jesus. Yeah, this is what's going on inside Wuhan right now. And they're saying that they cannot reach people higher up. They're trying to reach administrators, but they can't reach them. This is reminding me of Chernobyl. Yeah. That's right. It's totally Chernobyl. And China's government would, would do the same thing. They would totally lie about it. If they say 25 people died, it's 2,500. I'm serious. If they say there's 600 people infected, it's 60,000. But you see how they were acting? And you see how shady it is? Someone's recording that, like, because, you know, you'll get locked up for life. Uh, if you were caught going against the almighty Chinese government. <laughs> so that's pretty scary, actually. Uh, in the United States, there was this first confirmed case of the new virus. There was a second this morning. Which city was it in? The second, uh, I think, was in Chicago. Because the first one was in Seattle, I believe. Yeah. There was one in L.A. that was suspected, but I think they've decided it think wasn't so. actually that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, just as of this morning, I saw a so, report of a second. It started in a fish market in Wuhan. Because hmm. these virus, these pandemics start when a virus makes a jump from another animal, which is like super rare occurrence, but it happens. Yeah. So it makes a jump from an animal to a human. And then our, we have no resistance. We have no immunity. It's a whole new thing. It's a mutation of the uh, influenza of the flu virus and um that's what's so dangerous about it is that it's just this new thing that can totally ravage ravage us um patient zero who is not being named is in isolation oh no sorry that's the guy in america washington get the fuck out of wuhan i'm gonna wuhan my way out of china The patient in Washington was ill for four days after arriving in the United States and sought care. Based on the patient's symptoms and travel history, doctors suspected the novel Wuhan coronavirus. Crack open a nice cool corona. <laughs> and sent uh, specimens to the CDC. So this guy was cruising around Seattle for three days. Yeesh. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, the coronavirus is in the same family as the severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, which killed more than 700 people in 2002 and 2003. Spicy. To date, it has killed more than 300 people and has struck China, Thailand, South Korea, Japan, and now the United States. Um... The outbreak started in late December at an animal market in Wuhan. So it was an animal market, not a fish market. And 700 miles south of Beijing. Yeah, I think I read these coronaviruses uh, come from cattle, I believe. Hmm. Hmm. The virus can jump from animals to people, but now human-to-human -human transmission has been confirmed. Announced on Wednesday, Chinese officials are quarantining the entire city of Wuhan. It is emphasized how huge of a deal this is. Wuhan is a mega city with approximately 11 million residents, more than Los Angeles County. The quarantine of the scale ha is unprecedented. Is there any more news about that? Because this is from Wednesday. Seems like it's just uh, unknown still. Mm. 
I heard this morning that the World Health Organization is not declaring it an international crisis yet. Yeah. Just seems like they're just a Chinese death. (laughs) Death. Man, that quarantine's so crazy. I think everyone in that city is going to get fucking nuked by this virus. You know what's crazy, though? Um, I did see that uh, in an effort to uh, address all of this, um, they're like rapidly building more hospitals right. in Wuhan. Right. And, uh, you know, construction in China is crazy. Mm. Uh, and they're saying, you know, they can build an entire hospital in six days. What? Yeah. We're just throwing it up. I heard they finished one or they're building one they that, build that one. can fit 800 people or something. Yep. In a week? That's the Chinese, uh, Maybe. that's the Chinese spirit, man. That's they just, he, raw human power. That is the, wow. the flip side of it is, uh. They don't care if people die building it, you know? Safety, the thing is safety, code, all this shit that takes a long time right here. There's no, there's no delays there. It's just go. So that was fantastic. Um, what else we got? What else? I think I'm done. I think that was all the good stuff. Let's go over the Reddit meme album. How long have we been going, Dan? Uh, let's see. We started at 12.23, so a little under an hour. What? No, no way. Like that. Oh, That's that was not... the break. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that seemed weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> almost an hour, uh, hour and a half. Let's go over memes, and then I, I wa- actually wanted to... Pitch your brother as the bachelor, but we're too. Oh no, we're gonna wait. We're gonna get media. Waiting, yes. You yeah, got a hold of him, Dan? Dan? We put Dan in touch with okay, my brother. Yes, yes. That's Good. That's so exciting. The bachelor says and do works. So um, we've already talked about this. My mom's gonna be happy. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently, according to Zach, we already got some interesting applicants. Yes, we did. I'm getting some applicants. Cutie pies. How am I going to feel about that? I don't even know how I so, feel about that. I wanted I to address we'll this with you guys. Go ahead. And, and this is as good of a time as ever. But when we did the batch with Ian, mm-hmm. yeah, it, it, the conversation got fairly vulgar at times. Okay. And is that going to be uncomfortable? I mean, not for it, me. <laughs> well, not for you. But I mean, Zila's brother. We're talking about. Well, here. that's between her and, and her brother. What right. kind of vulgar are we talking about? Yeah. Well, well give an well, example. I don't know. Well, you know you. When we were talking with Ian, there was a lot of sexual talk. Yeah, but it wasn't that graphic. And all that kind of stuff. I'm just saying. It's, I know. It, it, by the nature of the contest, it's going to go there. You're probably going to learn things about your brother you didn't know. Right. I and already I just, learned through the show about him, his wiping habits. So we're already. <laughs> well, okay, fair. But that actually changed my life because I don't wipe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I tra- I used to be baby wipes and now I'm just, I haven't, I'm transcended wiping. You just, and you're pure a, bidet now, huh? Yeah. He, that's what he uh, said, and we were like, you're crazy. Yeah, but now I, but now I found He won. God. He won in the end. Well, you know. Um, uh, you okay, know. I yeah, that's why Sometimes I Sometimes I do get an itchy asshole, right. and I wonder. Gross. <laughs> well, I'm, I, I gotta tell you that I still wipe. And is there poop after you squirt? Sometimes it, it can be lightly, it depends if it was a messy one or not, you know? <laughs> Cause so I I like bidet I like bidet a lot like yeah, I I, don't have time I go for all I go that. way out of my way to I make sure there's nothing. To do. But the thing is that um, <laughs> like, it's so interesting to see how you've grown over the course of the show, Ethan. <laughs> you think that this is a, a good? It's a long term story arc. Really. I don't use you're, baby wipes you, anymore though. So your, your bathroom struggles. I mean, it's been one of the most consistent <laughs> storylines on this mm, show. We should maybe do like a. a an overview of the, An overview. the wife yeah, through yeah. the years. Because but you I, were so against the bidet. <laughs> yes, true, I was. You thought right. it was psycho. Yeah. I did. And you are like completely it's 180. It's actually on that. like amazing. <laughs> but I will say that once a week my asshole gets itchy. That's no good. Mm-mm. But I don't think there's poop in it. There I think has it has to, to do be. something with the. No. You're not using the soap, right? <laughs> no, I'm not putting my ass in. My ass doesn't come near my ass. There's no itchy. My hand doesn't come near my ass. There's no itchy butt without from. poop in there. I don't think so. I think it has something to do with I feel like there could the be fact that I was always it. rubbing my asshole with paper, and now it doesn't have, it's kind of adjusting to not being always. <laughs> what? I do. There's no way. <laughs> because I think your asshole, in a, in a sense, becomes kind of calloused from being touched and wiped all the time not cows but it becomes used to being like rubbed and 
it, it loses sensitivity. That not, was callous. That, that, that's the right word for it, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure you get calluses on your ass, <laughs> but I'm just saying. I think when it's a, And so I think it it's study. adjusting to not being uh, manipulated so, all, so much. I'd like to disagree. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go. I'll do a test. Do? Yeah. Please do. Do, do. I did do tests before, and there was no poop. So that's when I... I was like, okay, I'm good to disengage the wiping, but I'll th I'll go, I'll go uh, do further um, laboratory testing. But to answer your original question, then, um, I think I am all for the show, and I could handle it. And on the other side, I, my brother is also the same. He's all about the show. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not so worried I think about it's him. gonna be very oh, sure. different from the Ian. It'll be great season. I okay. sense which is good. Okay. I, yeah. And uh, yeah, I wasn't even questioning it necessarily. I just wanted to make sure yeah, that it had been it's processed. Yeah, a little weird. Yeah, right. Fuck you, Dan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, Zach. <laughs> Thanks, <Right>. Dan. <laughs> right. We need more. Here, this one's for you, Zach. Um, now you gotta have to find one. I know I've yelled at Dan a lot on the show. Yeah, you yelled at me earlier oh. this episode. Yeah, this episode I yelled at Dan. <laughs> Dan, are you fucking with me? Where's the pizza? Oh, where is the pizza? Well, let's review memes from the uh, reddit.com slash Reproductions subreddit. You can also submit them via podcast at htreesreproductions.com along with any other inquiries or questions you may have. Uh, first golf president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How hold does on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me? <laughs> It's He's just wearing a, a dead Kennedy shirt. <laughs> That's not goth. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I don't even know. What is it? <laughs> Go ahead. It's a punk band. Why is there two uh, Twitter handles? <laughs> like, look at the <laughs> shitty man. I think it's fake. Yeah. <laughs> the covering what problem child and then Andrew Yang over it. <laughs> what? I, just... <laughs> I take issue with that meme. How it feels to listen to issue podcast. I've, heard, I've seen this a trillion times. But it remains Love good it. and funny. Um, family members on Christmas asking me about my personal life and future. <laughs> he wasn't messing around. Stay tuned. The day of reckoning will come, Papa said. And then soon after, David Baumfiend, Domino's Pizza CFO, dead and snorkeling <laughs> after that. And former Dojo Pizza owner sentenced to 65 years for sex crimes wow. against children. <laughs> That's a pizza reckoning. What? Day of reckoning will come. Wait, is this a snorkeling accident? Yeah, yeah. that's what they said. <laughs> that Stay <mean>? tuned. <laughs> you die snorkeling. Yes, yeah, snorkeling, bro. How'd you fuck up snorkeling that bad? We should ask him about these stories. Did he know them? What How? was he doing during that time? I want to see if so he's where you? Does he have any right? It is a real story. December 27th. So, Holy shit, it just happened. We should just ask him, on December 27th, <laughs> what were you doing? Yeah. <laughs> just out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. How do you die snorkeling, though, for real? Somebody just stuck their thumb Dang. in the tube, and that was it. But just done. lift your head up. <laughs> no. Like, snorkeling like, means you're on the surface. Oh, snorkeling. I'm going to assume he got yeah. hit by a boat or something. Like, oh, okay, there something, you go. Yeah. There you go. Just happened to be snorkeling. Um, oh, Donald Trump retweeted Joey Salads. How good is that? I see he's changed his name to Joey Saladino. He's gone official. <laughs> the Democrats impeached Trump for crimes committed the by President Joe Biden. The President of the United Biden. States retweeted Joey Saladino. Honestly, yeah. I am impressed. <laughs> I know. I don't know. What's, this is crazy. How can any? How? I mean, guys. This is crazy. <laughs> the President retweeted <laughs> Joe. The sitting President of the United States retweeted Joey Saladino. Saladino. Praise Jesus. <laughs> Just, I mean, really let that sink in, folks. What else is a stupid idea? Why did I do this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, goddamn. This feels like a small word. All this I guess we know Donald Trump in a way. Two steps removed, All right? One step removed. <laughs> uh, Asians are bad drivers, me an intellectual. <laughs> <laughs> I would never say that. <laughs> Who's this behind him? What is this? It's that was one of his campaign events. It looks like recording. a It's a phone. Yeah, the perspective is so weird. Is he on his knees? No, sitting. Oh, he's sitting. <laughs> Keela becoming an American citizen to escape conflict in Israel. That's not really what happened. Uh, <laughs> America starting World War III. That's, I mean, it's <laughs> funny, though. It's not like a refugee. I live right. there, too, you know. 
uh, man of my word. If Trump gets impeached, I will donate my left testicle to medical research. You can quote me on this. Yeah, he lied. He erased this tweet. Uh-huh. Did he really? Yeah. Oh, what? Because it was he so wasn't actually. I didn't believe it, but I can't believe he did. So this is a know. picture of Dan. Um, oh. oh, was this when you were in uh, Idaho? It was. <laughs> I didn't realize that was in there. You that remember was one meeting of the guys this guy? Shouted out. Yeah, then, I think that was the other Dan. That was a fellow Dan. <laughs> Look at you! Look how happy you are, both together. I actually, went into a shop, and he was like the son of the woman that owned the shop. And he like came out from the back, and he was just like, "What the fuck?" Mm. <laughs> what kind of shop is it? I don't know if I should say. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's Idaho. It's a shop. It's a shop. It was a little. Tra- it was a. It was actually an Irish shop. Irish. It was like, I don't know, memorabilia. They sold just, like kilts and. Oh wow! What's the problem with that's a hell of a business? Well, just because that'll identify him. I don't know. I don't... Well, what about his face? And, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Well, now people know exactly where, what state he's in, and what kind of shop they can what find. Are they him what, yeah, yeah, I know. I, 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 guilt. I just hesitated for a second. I mean, I don't know. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, exactly. uh, poss- possibilities. 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 <laughs> That's why me? It's you? <laughs> yeah. Why <laughs> me? It's you is the model. That's hilarious. What? I'm not even mad. It's weird. Weird though. Meanwhile, the HG podcast is on break. This I love. <laughs> <laughs> I've often been said I look like him. It's often been said. When you had a mustache. I think he's more handsome to me. That actor. I love this photo. Like, what? How? Who? Like, this is so epic. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. Um, Ian, I, what do you think? I mean, this is just a picture of Ian. <laughs> Ian wishes you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, because the... this was highly upvoted on the subreddit. Oh. Ian, how do you feel about people recognizing you on the subreddit? Well, where did that even come from? Uh, uh, it's just Instagram? Instagram, Screenshot probably. it from my Instagram, I guess. Oh, God. I okay. mean, shout out. It Thanks, had like 3,000 points or more, I think, uh, Ian. Wow. A lot of love. <sighs> yeah, you should be more grateful to be here. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> That was a soundbite. I know now. Another Papa John's pizza wow. that was not sliced. This is an wow. epidemic. This is a pandemic. This come from Wuhan? Are we, um... Thank you, Zach. <laughs> Are we gonna order Papa John's while Papa John is here? I was thinking I want to do, like, a blind taste test. Or rating pot pizza slices. Because now he has no elite... Well, he still is the majority stakeholder. So he has invested interest in them succeeding. Mm-hmm. But it would be interesting to do a blind taste test and he identify which is Papa. But that should be so easy. But I also, I could, well, I, I could even recognize. Maybe not. Maybe Let's blindfold not. you and put some pizza in your mouth. I should, just got a bone Should we order like 10 of the Papa John's to see if we get an unsliced one? That would be a really funny idea, yeah. Should we ask fans to come up with ideas of what we should do? Yeah, if you guys have ideas for, to pitch that we should do with Papa, I'd love to hear it. I have a few of my own, but, you know. We got some plans. So we got once, some things in the works. Yeah, we definitely Once have in a lifetime work. No, podcast. yeah, we got to, yeah, we got to capitalize. This gonna be, I can't <laughs> wait. Oh, our next episode on Tuesday, uh, PewDiePie will be joining us. That'll be f- really fun. And then Via satellite. Via satellite, yeah, of course. And then, and then uh, Papa is the following week, or is yeah. he that week? Uh, the following week. On next Friday. week we have Tuesday. On, next week on Friday we have oh. uh, Gus. Oh, okay. How nice. So we do actually have two guests next. So week. it would be three guests in a row. Wow, that's Papa's true. on Tuesday or Friday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh shit. Yeah. It's scary. Three in a row. I get nervous up. when I have big guests like I don't Papa. Know. <laughs> Papa's got to be like our most epic guest ever. I mean, just be, yeah, I mean, because of the Try history. Try not to think about it, because that's the only way to really not freak out. It's Papa For me, John. at least. It's like Jesus. I'm just trying not it's, to even go it's there maybe in a my mind. Far. It's maybe it's just a, a guest. Yeah, he's more interesting than Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody already knows about Jesus. Papa hasn't told his story yet. <laughs> I've had over 40 pizzas in the last Why is that days. pitch shift? Why, why are you playing a <laughs> clip that's pitch shift down? Zach. That was a mistake. <laughs> Well, don't let it happen again, ever. <laughs> and finally, I'm just kidding. I love you, Zach. <laughs> you know I'm kidding, right? 
Yes. I was being overly critical for our humorous uh, effect. It's okay. It was really funny. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Dan. You know, <laughs> you, Dan's just all by her, like all, me and Dan all the time. Fuck you, Dan. <laughs> But I do have that problem where I like. Um, you do. You you. Uh, I try to. I be a dick because I think it's like funny or something. But it, it just is actually just me being a dick. Yeah. Yeah. It's yep. funny. <laughs> I don't know where I get that from. Just a big bully. Your dad does it a lot, where he'll joke, but no one has any idea that he's joking because it just comes off as real. You know what I no, mean? I think it's different. I know you're joking when you do it. I don't actually get offended. But, but it's it, not funny. It's just it comes off. I it doesn't come off that yeah. good. To outside it's observers. Funny. Even to inside observers, it's like, oh, he's calling me an asshole. He doesn't mean it, but still. It's not funny. It's not that interesting, so why even say funny. it? It's a sound bite. Yeah, I know. I need that here. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> um, and finally, or not finally, actually, I guess people are stopping students from doing Vape Nation because they, I guess, it has to do with vaping or they think it's gang signs. So these guys are stoked they were able to get it into the Snuck yearbook. In. This guy got it upside down, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, I get it. Trump, hey Siri, how many mis- This isn't related, but. Hey Siri, how many times did I, how many miles, miles. did I run today? Siri, okay, sending missiles to Iran today. <laughs> I just, I actually, more than what's written, I love this. <laughs> the side by side is awesome. Yeah, yeah, that actually. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, H3 Podcast Bingo. Oh. Oh, hey. Mobility Mary. This episode's off the rails. Forgot to mention the sponsors. <laughs> Ethan's Guy at YouTube. Oh, it starts oh, with Dan oh. saying two is the freebie in the middle because that one always happens. <laughs> That's Wait, Ethan's what? Guy at YouTube. God, I didn't know I talked about it that much. Video won't play. Nobody made it this far. Dan laughing from outside. Oh, it starts with Dan saying, too. That, that Dan is we need to go to break. Insensitive comment. Well, that's up for interpretation. Quip. Afraid or a shredder. Quip is just <laughs> Video Dan? won't play. Sup, sup, sup. That's yeah. so sad of us. I already read that one. <laughs> sup, 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 sup. DD Mega Doo Doo. Did Ethan we succeed Eating. today? I think we might have bingoed already today. I think. Bradbury, it's not in the document. How this guy's like a mega fan. This is crazy. He knows. How long have we been going for? We did that today. Right, Ela. Right, Ela. So right, uh, Ethan, big boomer energy. Well, that's up again, up for debate. Right, Ela, dead air. What do you think, Ian? Are we gonna get claimed Ethan's fair use crash course? <laughs> so let's see. We definitely did. How long we've been going for? Dan starts at two. What do you think, Ian? I think we did that. Yeah, we definitely did We that. need to go to break. Forgot to mention sponsor. We See, we did f- mention the sponsor. Damn. Almost, we almost got a bingo. Almost. Hmm. Interesting. How long we've been going, Dan? <laughs> this guy's so good. Oh, man, this guy's actually d- doing the Gatsby <laughs> in public. He went all black, though. Pretty classy. <laughs> We considered the black, but, yeah. but the red one out. Yeah. Cherry, baby. You got to keep it cherry. Yeah. Shout out to this guy, bro. I think I got to take the Gatsby to Disney. <laughs> oh, he's got a service dog, too. Uh-oh. You know, that's not a service dog. I'll tell you right now. This whole service dog thing is out of control. You just put a tag on it, and these people just lie. Because, according to the law, you can't actually enforce it or ask. Right. And so, they you have, like, unruly, literally, like, not even trained in the slightest bit dogs walking around with service dogs. They just bought on Amazon a little thing that says service dog. It's just, it's so stupid. People are just lie. They're just liars. Why is the law that you can't even ask about it? What's the problem? It's some bullshit to protect the... To I guess maybe they just don't want these actual people that need the help getting hassled all the time. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What's the logic? And I think that's fine, but all these fucking people just lying about it. Just at least get your Is dog that trained. A Master too? What? On the... You want to take a close up on this? Are they at Disney? Yeah, that looks like a Mickey Mouse. Are they at Disney? Where are they? Can you see the merch? Yeah. This guy stole my idea. There's definitely. <laughs> no. It just looks like they're at a mall or what's something. What's this? Yeah, what's this? 
This he's got some kind of thing, and he's got the it's horn on, bro. He's got a horn. He's got the same horn. He honks at people with a fucking air horn. <laughs> Dude, he actually bought the Gatsby. That's so crazy. I mean, what are those two cute? This is a luxury there? mobility scooter. Those I don't know Disney. why you're. You think he's at Disney? I think he's actually at Disney, you guys. Well, that could be me, but you guys are playing. You were snoozing. Can you imagine when Theodore uh, grows up and we do a family trip to Disney and I bring the Gatsby? <laughs> it's it's not so, happening. It'd be so embarrassed. It'd be awesome. When you watch all the old podcasts and find the moments when all the sound bites came from. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> well, there you have it. That's a wrap, folks. Cool. Cool. It's Friday, my dudes. It's the weekend. Everybody have fun. Friday. If they're watching this, it's, oh, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. already the weekend. Gotta get it up my Friday. <laughs> I recommend playing video games, put on the podcast, mute the sound. That's what I like to do. <laughs> what you playing right now? Is that a what beep? What you got? A beep moment? Oh, uh, what am I doing this weekend? You said play some video games. That's what you recommend. Oh. I've been playing Diablo 3 on PlayStation. Whoa. It's actually so fun. But it's so Throwback. easy. My guy's like invincible. I made a wizard, and yeah, I'm on like um, I don't know if you're familiar with the end game. I where, am. Where they have the paragon or not the paragon? Yeah. Paragon. First of all, I'm paragon level 216. Okay. And the what's it called? The endless dungeon where you the nephilim rift? Yeah, nephilim yeah, rift. I'm on like uh 50 level 50. Not bad, not bad. What, you've, what, you've gone further? <laughs> What's your impressed. rate? Yeah, why aren't you impressed? <laughs> uh, I had a buddy that was, like, sort of a pro. I, there's not really, like, pro, but he was a streamer that Diablo was, like, his main thing. Um, and, it, you know, people, like, actually compete with it. They try and get as far as possible right. within a season or whatever. Yeah. And he w it was crazy. He would get up to, like, 130, 140, something like wow. that. What yeah. class did he play? Uh, he was a monk. If I oh, correctly. interesting. Because yeah. he would do it with a group, and they all had like roles. People get really serious about it. Because it gets. I only played the game super casually for a while. God, it was so. Bit, but... When I first played it, when it came out, it was so tedious, bro. Oh my oh, god, it was terrible when it, it came was out. It was terrible, and now it's a good game. It's actually fun it's to play. Pretty now. fun. I played it a little. Did yeah. you really? Yeah. <laughs> what are you playing? Uh, we play the same. Playing the wizard. Yeah. I wonder if we started playing it because Ethan thought I would like it, so mm -hmm. I started the game. I did like it, but I just don't have really the drive to sit and play a game right now. Sure. I don't know. I feel She's like, busy. She's a CEO. I feel like I should do something else. That's very fair. That's very fair. But, but I've I been like it. I've been lately just putting on, like, uh, Howard We listen Stern to Howard and he plays. And I game. Yeah. It's so nice. It's just relaxing. When yeah. the baby is asleep in. Sweet. I do my emails. It's cool. Um, but it's just getting to the point where it's like, okay, I'm just going deeper and deeper, and I feel like all my shit is, like, the best it can be. I, I'm i critting for, like, three billion damage, bro. It's fucking hilarious how big the numbers get. It's, it's just, so funny. I was like, what? <laughs> three billion? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Actually, the bit when you crit with a normal hit, they didn't even program it to display billion, so it says a thousand million. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like yeah, it's like Y two K up in that bitch. Yeah, I didn't anticipate it getting that out of hand. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Uh, you have any recommendations? Because I probably am getting over Diablo right now. I am still looking. Maybe someone out there can help us. Still to this day, I think I enjoyed the most playing Peggle. 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 Yeah. Okay. That's... And I'm looking for something like that. We played Peggle too already, so don't suggest that. I know I played Peggle at some point. I don't really remember. Oh, it's I just like saw arcade, a picture. pinball kind of game. Fucking, you... fucking, fucking. Uh, it's stupid. What was there was an old arcade game that was just like this? Bust a move. Ever no, played Bust a move? Is it different? Because you Bust a move, you shoot the ball and it sticks. Peggle, right. you release the ball and it bounces. Mm, okay. You aim the ball. You shoot the ball. I'll do a little research. Yeah, hit. I'm going to hit you with some, oh. some Peggle suit. Is there music or not? Cool. No, we haven't started it yet. <laughs> no. You want to end the show? Well, we're on our way out. We don't have to end it, though. Uh, what do you want to eat? Because I haven't eaten breakfast. <laughs> this is my one meal. I'm trying True. to eat one meal. What do I want to eat? I finally used my Peloton. I got a Peloton a month ago, and I didn't use it once. I used it yesterday. It was good. 
this is the one that had the whole controversy with yeah. the advertisement recently? Yes. <laughs> okay. I bought it before that, I'll have you know. So is, but I would have bought it afterwards, too. So is Hila <laughs> abusing you? Is that why you're using it? Wasn't that the I bought thing? it for myself. Did the wife seemed like she was <laughs> being forced for to use it. For as a gift. I did. I bought okay. it for myself. <laughs> I was abusing my. I was fat shaming myself. <laughs> <laughs> Whose class are you taking? I wanted to get the same one as Howard, but I couldn't find her. Jen. Her name is Jen Sherman. Oh, Jen Sherman. I think that is who I took. Yeah. Really? But she's English. No. Oh, so I took a different Jen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jen Sherman. I didn't. Okay, I saw her. Why do you know that? Yeah. Just from listening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jen Sherman. Yeah. And it, is it? Yeah. It, part of my ignorance is it anything? Other, isn't it just an exercise bike? Yes. Okay. But it's got a but, tablet, yeah. and you can take live classes with instructors. It's like you're in a spin class. Okay. Okay. It's got a it's big really tablet cool. I, uh, where you kind of like watch the class. So. It's cool because you've got like the resistance and the speed, and you and you just follow along with their instructions and. They have all this music they license. It's like being in a spin class at home. And so, don't hate, Dan. I know you're one of hating. Go ahead and hate. Okay. What do you got to say? <laughs> no, it sounds like it's uh, doing some real good for you. <laughs> I did it once, dude. <laughs> you calling me fat? No. <laughs> really? Then what are you trying to say? <laughs> Nothing. I just, uh, doesn't it cost like five grand or something? No. No, actually it was only like 1500 bucks. Which is what normal freaking exercise bike shitty costs? ones. I got one for five hundred that okay. was like literally garbage. That's I literally thing. threw it when out. When you buy the cheap ones, then you stuck with this huge piece of junk in your house that you can't even get rid of. It, gotcha. it was fifteen hundred bucks. I thought it would be more too, but it was really affordable. All right. Well, that I mean, yeah, fifteen hundred bucks. The, the thing previous is, previous one that we bought was like six hundred, I think, and within a few. Times that you used it, it already started squeaky squeaking and, and awful. It was the worst. Yeah, Damn. and then it's a huge thing that like how are you even gonna throw it out? Um, it is forty dollars a month. That's how they, That's man- how they do oh, it, it so cheap. There's a monthly thing. If you want the online classes and stuff, um, you didn't know about that. She's gonna make you pull the plug now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. If, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What do you want to eat? You want Mexican? Okay. What else do you want? I don't know. So let's just do Mexican. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> You're the worst. I know. I hate it. Ela right. goes, "What do you want?" And then she, she, it's always the same. She goes, "Italian." Well, it's always the same she with goes, you. You goes, always want pizza or Mexican. There's not that many options, bro. Exactly. That's I what go, I'm saying. She, she goes. She goes. Uh, you pick dinner, and I say, and like Mexican? "Mexican." No. I go Indian. Pizza? No. Not true. I, I always say yes to Indian. Well, I don't want to eat Indian. How can you eat Indian food every day? It's like, oh, t- no, it tastes can't. like perfume. You can't. Doesn't Indian food taste like perfume? I fucking love Indian food. Mm, I, it's okay once it. in a while, but God, give me a break. <laughs> tastes like perfume? What? <laughs> yeah, it does, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all the same. Like It's such a great vegetarian this- meal. Indian food has like the most variety of anything. No, it's it doesn't. The They're like a bowl. Okay, you bowl full of butter and something with tomato. Oh, bu- bu- okay. And then oh, spinach. Okay, and butter and chicken. Okay, and uh, it's, there's more variety. You want than it Mexican. with chickpeas? Okay, and with bowl and butter and chickpeas. Definitely more variety than Mexican. I think Mexican it's similar. Is all I love. The same. I love Mexican food. But no, but it's, it's similar to Mexican food in that it's like the same shit, just a different configuration. <laughs> I like it. You know who has the most innovative food? Who? American. Yeah, right. Mm, I don't know. Let's eat some bacon and sausage and a pile of uh, pancakes. Sounds wow, that sounds fucked actually. Pancake. I can't believe people actually eat pancakes as like a daily breakfast food. Why are you hating on pancakes? What? I like pancakes. It's so I'm not just saying food. you shouldn't eat that every morning. It's a dessert. It's a cake. It's a, it's in the name. <laughs> Pancake. I see. I see. All right, Dan. All right, so Mexican it is. <laughs> All right, start the music. Let's go. We're getting out of here. Can someone invent new kinds of food? Uh, they're called chefs. Yeah, right. but they're fucked. They've been doing pricey. the same bullshit. They're like, oh, I'm Italian. Oh, I'm a Mexican chef. Oh, I'm French. Yeah, suck dick. I want that new shit. French, Mexican. I want a Mars fusion. chef. Yeah, Mars fusion. chef. You gotta go to the fusion restaurant. You gotta go to the fusion. Fusion's so douchey. 
fusion. You're asking You're for something new? French. No, I want Mars food. Okay, well, hit up, hit up your boy, Elon. He's working on it. I want genetically modified pig bird flu <laughs> from Wuhan. Give it a couple more Meat weeks. market. I want to go to the meat market in <laughs> Wuhan. Coming. Those guys are cooking up the real new shit. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, food is so boring sometimes. Is that like we need a personal chef? I don't chef know like what Oprah. to eat. I think you need a personal chef who's just like really dedicated to serving you your every need and thought. My mom. I need my mom. No, your mom cooks the same shit too. That's true. There's but it's next, good. There's the next segment. We have auditions for personal chef. <laughs> Looks so blank behind you, Dan. We gotta do something about that. Well, we're, we're, we got some plans. Where's the plans we that we're talking plans. about? We got some plans. All right, song's almost over. Okay. Let's do Guys, it. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. I can't tell you how much I love you. I mean, you wouldn't even believe me <laughs> if I said it. And um, if Hila dies tomorrow, I'll be sure to... How uh, dare you? Make Will you a, make a thumbnail about me? Yeah, I'll put you as an angel in heaven. <laughs> And I'll be with Theodore and be like, oh, we lost her. <laughs> Don't forget to wipe your eyebrows, though. <sighs> anyway, I shouldn't joke about that. Right. You're going to live forever. True. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Bye.